Romans chapter 11. Verse 7, and it reads, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. First and foremost, I want to give all to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here forbear. Now, what is this scripture talking about? It says, What then? Romans eleven and seven it says, What then? Israel, a people before us a place. Let's talk about the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. What is Israel seeking for? The truth. The truth, man. They haven't obtained it. Two-thirds haven't obtained the truth. They seek it for the truth, but they're looking for it in all the wrong places, man. Like, like the mysteries and the secrets, according to the Bible, was only revealed to a small few. The majority of our people, they don't know up from down. They don't know right from left. They don't know hot from cold. You see? They don't know, man. They threw. Why? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. They all in the church. Listening to that pastor. They think he has the truth. And they, he only thing he teaches lies, man. But they think it's the truth. They haven't obtained the truth. But the election have obtained it. The election have obtained the truth according to the Bible. See, we know exactly what's going on. See, that's why the majority of our people think America's their rest. You know, that's that's why they are like someone right about now trying to build a community tie. Or trying to get ready to, to register to vote. They think voting is the way. You know. Or they're in a line right about now, and I'm saying going to holler at Vanessa Williams, because they think that's the way. They think Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, they think that's the way. But it's not the way. But the election have obtained it. See, we know the way. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the way. Lord Yahweh Shai is the truth, the light, the door. No man coming unto the Father, but through him. And the rest was blinded. The election have obtained the truth, and the rest was blinded, man. That's why anytime we out there on the highway, the Bible is preaching this gospel, this good news. They look at it as, as, as bad news. They look at it as, as false information. They look at it as lies. But then they turn right around and go to church and listen to lies and accept that as the truth. The, the Lord said he, he, he did them that way. We're going to bring that out, man. Look, according as it is written, Yahweh, who they really call God, right, have given them the spirit of slumber. Put them straight to sleep spiritually, man. Then a spiritual coma right about them. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. So they see us out there on the highway and byways preaching this gospel. They walk right past. And they hear certain things that we say according to the Bible. They hear us say, look, look, this place is about to be destroyed. So come. But they're like, nah, man. No, no, it ain't. Seek the Lord. Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, who they really call God and Jesus Christ. Nah, not, not right now. And seeking out the cares and affairs of this world is the way. When all that's going to burn soon come, man. The Lord has given them. The Bible is cold, man. The God of the Bible is cold, man. I mean, cold. He'll put you to sleep quick. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will put you to sleep quick, man. That's why our only job is just to preach the word. We can't wake nobody up. The Lord puts, puts people to sleep and wakes people up just like he did us. We didn't wake ourselves up, man. The Lord did, right? Second Thessalonians chapter two. Let me get it. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Let's see. Let me just go straight to the point. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eleven, and it reads. And for this cause, the Most High Yahweh 
shall send them strong delusions, right? That they shall believe a lot. The Most High has given them strong delusions. Two-thirds of our people that they shall believe in a lie. Not the truth. Remember, Israel have not obtained that which they seek it for. But the election have obtained it. The Lord gave them strong delusions, man. That they shall believe in a lie, man. And not the truth. They think what we're saying is a lie, but it's the truth. And they think with the, uh, with sleazy eat. You know what I'm saying? It is millions. They think what they're saying is the truth when it's a lie, man. They, they believe in lies, man. And let's get that, let's get that definition for, um, delusion. Let's play, let's play this word. Delusion. Look, delusion. I mean, the computer acting up, but you get it. You heard it. Let's play it again. Delusion. Delusion. Remember, the Lord said he's going to give them a strong delusion that they shall believe in a lie. And let me uh, bear with me with this word. Adios. And the phone chimed in. Syncratic belief or impression. I know I butchered that word, but belief or impression that is firmly maintained despite being contradicted by what is generally accepted as reality or rational argument. You know, what is a false look? look Mistaken belief, misconception, misunderstanding, mistake, error. That damn believe it in error. No, say our people error. We, we, oh, yeah, the scriptures say that they error, not knowing the truth, right? Look, look, misbelief, an, an illusion. Matter of fact, let's let's type on let's let's click on that. Let's click on the illusion. Illusion, a thing. Let's play it. It's pretty agony, so just bear with me. Illusion. Look, illusion. A thing that is or is likely to be wrong. The, the Lord got them believe. Look, yeah, how about Shemel Shah's cold? He got our people, no say two thirds of our people believing in something that's wrong. Do, do you see that? Maxine Waters, take that, take that. The Lord got them thinking that that's the right way to go when it's wrong. You see? Or interpreted by senses. Let's, let's get this. Let's see. The Lord got a little vision. Look, look. Look, look, vision. You see vision up there? Got them visions, man. You see? A deceptive appearance or impression. Wow. Wow. So, got them believing in something that looks right, but is wrong. <laughs> oh, man. A false idea or belief. Is the, is the Lord cold or what? That, look, that's another reason why we should fear Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Look, dream, fantasy. Got our people believing in, in fantasy, man. It ain't real, Israel. Get you believe, believing in a fantasy, Israel. Ain't nothing real about it. So let's go back to the scripture. Let's go back to the scripture. Salakia. It's computer acting up this morning. So just bear with me, Israel. All of a sudden, it's, it's been acting up for the last couple of days, but bear with me. First Thessalonians, make sure we get the right. It's really bugging this morning, Israel. Second Thessalonians chapter two, yeah, that's what it was. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eleven, and once again, and for this cause, look, the Most High, the one that put you in that spiritual slumber, you know what I'm saying? For this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they should believe in a lie, so that they believe in Babylon. Got them believing, you know what I'm saying, in Babylon. A place where, where nothing but confusion goes on. <laughs> got them thinking that, you know what I'm saying, and E is pushing truth. But he pushing lies. We pushing the truth, but they think we pushing lies. Let's go. L listen to 12, though. Someone's a highlight, trying to highlight it. That they may all be damned, condemned. The look, the two-thirds have been condemned. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. But have pleasure in unrighteousness. See, our people, they take pleasure in unrighteousness, man. The, the Lord gave them over to strong delusion. Man, got them believing in a fantasy, man. Got them believing that this place right here, Babylon, is the kingdom of heaven. And it can't get no better than this, man. Got them believing in sleazy. He got them thinking that sleazy E, you know what I'm saying, is their savior, man. Is the Lord cold or what, man? 
is the Lord called the Lord. Remember, the Lord said, no lie is of the truth. I've written it to you. Let's get that. Let's get that. You want to get that right quick? No lie. No lies of the truth. Let's get that right quick. See, 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 the Lord cold. He look. He said the election have obtained it, but the rest was blinded. He blinded them, man. Got our people believing in a fantasy world. The Lord cold, man. I'm about to wrap this up. It's about time for me to roll on now. I got to get ready to wrap this up. But let's let's read this though. First John chapter two. This computer acting like shit this morning. Bear with me, Israel. I mean, it, it, it's really acting up for real, for real. You know. Let's go here once again. First John chapter 2, verse 21. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. We know the truth, all right? We know right from wrong. We know up from down. You see? We know right from left, man, all right? I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. Listen, and that no lie is uh, the truth, but the Lord gave our people over to strong delusions. You see you see how, how fearful it is to fall into the hands of the living power. One minute you can believe in the truth. You can know what's right from wrong. That's how you know the Lord will put a cold spirit on you to believe in a lie, to accept a lie, man. Which, which, which ultimately is destroyed you, will, will destroy you. But because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Remember, the truth has set us free. Remember, the truth has set us free. Look, look, look at the majority of our people through in a long ass line right about now, believing in the J U ice. You know what I'm saying? The serpent's piss, thinking that the Lord is cold, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. This computer is bugging out this morning, too, man. Uh, all the East all sleeves all sleeves of East technology ain't shit anyway. It worked for a while, and I'm saying, look, man, we got way better technology than this, man, in the kingdom, man. Just say Matthew chapter 13. So, so we must definitely must be very thankful, man. We got to thank Yahweh Bashim Shah even more every day, man. He he got it. He put it on our spirit to believe in the truth. He put it in their spirit to believe in a lie. Man, we got to thank you. How about Shemel Shai St. Matthew chapter 13. Verse 9, whenever your computer gets right. Verse 9, who have ears to hear, let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Aren't that what we're doing right about now? So we come in in the, in the same spirit as Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus. We speaking in parabolic talk, right? It's coming out plain to those who understand, all right? And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them into parables? In parables. Which is a riddle, a deep dark saying, an allegory. You know what I'm saying? Um I can't think of another word. It slips my mind. And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. Why? Because he gave them over to strong delusions, man. He got them believing in a lie. The Lord got these people believing in a lie, man. And got us believing in the truth. You see? Hey, that, that's something that we ought to be thankful, man. Let's, let's read this last one. one. This place is about to burn, you know what I'm saying? But our people believe it. Our people got their hope in this place. They, they invested for real, for real in this place. St. John chapter 8, verse 32 and 8. Come on now. It's too much now. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And it reads, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So just a quick little lesson through the spirit you have about Shemiah Rashad. You look, look, man, we got to be thankful. The Lord gave us the truth, and he gave two-thirds lies, man. The Lord is truly to be feared, greatly to be praised above all gods. Why? Because the gods of the nations are idols. We got them believing in idols. The Lord is cold. Shalom.